everyone. Uh, when it comes to early Berlin, there's no better book uh, than The Railroad Came and A Special Community Grew in Brunswick, Maryland by Peter Maynard. In our last episode, we talked a lot about the CNO Canal and uh, its history here in Berlin, Brunswick. Now we talk about the railroad, uh, primarily the railroad from 1834 leading up to a very, very important year of 1890. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in a little bit. As stated in previous episodes, the B&O Railroad and the C&O Canal both reached Berlin in 1834. The railroad placed a warehouse here and employed a small section gang, and, well, that was it. A section gang was a small group of individuals who would be called upon when needed to perform needed maintenance work upon the track within a certain section. At Point of Rocks, the railroad built a depot there, and the line headed to a bustling town of 3,000 people, Harpers Ferry, Virginia. Two villages were located between Point of Rocks and Harpers Ferry, Berlin and Knoxville. Both held little importance to the railroad. Rail service was provided to Berlin when the train began traveling to Harpers Ferry. On December 1, 1834, the B&O included Berlin as a stop for the pickup of flour. Winter's Mill primarily shipped its flour via the CNO Canal. Contrary to local folklore, trains pulled by horses were not used through Berlin. By 1834, the B&O Railroad was using steam power. The locomotive, the Atlantic, was placed in service in 1832 and traveled 15 to 20 miles an hour. Another boost to commerce was the extension of the line to Martinsburg, Virginia. Three freights were then scheduled every day, one for coal, one for livestock, and one for general merchandise. By the late 1850s, 45 to 50 locomotives were assigned between Baltimore to Martinsburg, which included 26 Winnens camels and five Hayes 10 wheelers. By 1859, there were two passenger trains a day on the line. After the Civil War, the population dwindled to about 200 as there were no employment opportunities. In addition to Winter's Mill, there were two general stores, a post office, a depot, the canal office, some warehouses, and a saloon or two. In 1879, a handsome new combination freight and passenger depot was built in Berlin. Its brick walls were decorated with granite and had decorated lintels. And that, my friends, is the extent of the railroad's impact on Berlin as we inch closer to the year 1890. Well, that was short and sweet, but that is the story. Uh, it sums it up well of the history of the B&O Railroad uh, in Berlin from 1834 leading up to those years of 1887, 1888, 1889, and leading into 1890. Speaking of that, that will be the focus of our next episode. Our next episode will talk about a monumental year uh, in Berlin, Brunswick history, and that is 1890. We'll hope you tune in there uh, for that episode. And then also we thank you for tuning into all of these episodes. If you're able to donate, we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, you can send a donation via PayPal to admin at brunswickmuseum.org. Thank you.